tricky style. Canelo Alvarez is a huge name in the world of boxing who has won world championships across four weight classes, which is quite commendable. The man has embarrassed both famous and new boxers in the ring that heavily intimidated them after receiving Canelo's dangerous punches. On that note, let's take a quick look at seven times Canelo Alvarez embarrassed his opponents in the ring. Number 7. Canelo Alvarez vs. Callum Smith The match that took place between Canelo and Callum Smith was scheduled for a good 12 rounds and Canelo left the ring victorious after the judges sided with him by a unanimous decision. The first round of this match had Canelo throw in a right hand. This was the first punch of the match. Smith was against ropes and was trying to get out of this compromising situation. In the next round, Canelo threw a right hand to Smith's body. Smith tried to retaliate back, but Canelo's defense was immaculate. The big right hand that Canelo threw in round 3 was the best moment of this round. Smith tried to throw in some jabs, but they weren't good enough to destroy Canelo. Canelo's huge 1-2 combination punch, followed by an uppercut, was a very classy move that he pulled off in this round. Canelo seemed to be throwing plenty of body shots in this match, and Smith was constantly against the ropes. Canelo ended round 5 with a solid hook. Round 6 had Canelo throwing in hooks and power punches, as a result fatiguing Smith. The best punch of the fight till this point was when Canelo threw in an uppercut to break his opponent's guard, forcing Smith against the ropes yet again. It was quite evident that Canelo's punches had more power and accuracy. In round 9, Canelo threw in a right hook that sent Smith back to the ropes. Smith struggled to hold on to his balance. Canelo threw in a beautiful combination punch in round 10, which he started with a right hook to his opponent's head and then his body. Smith was in survival mode in round 11 and Canelo's right hand was being thrown at Smith constantly. In the final round, Canelo tried for a knockout, but all that happened was a clinch between these two boxers. Callum clearly felt the brunt of Canelo's punches, and the expression on his face at the end of the match showed it. Number 6. Canelo Alvarez vs. Gennady Golovkin Round 1 of this match started off slow with both the boxers studying each other's moves. Canelo's footwork was impeccable and was focused on throwing in body shots and hard counters at Gennady. Gennady, on the other hand, was more focused on throwing in powerful jabs. During the second round, Canelo went into peace mode and landed body shots throughout the round. This forced Gennady to power up for round 3 where he threw in left hooks as well as right hands. Canelo was intimidated for a quick moment following which he threw in hooks and uppercuts to give his opponent a tough fight. The next few rounds had the audience witnessing Gennady's aggressive side, and Canelo was clearly tired of being on defense for the majority of the time. The rounds following the ninth bout had Canelo fighting his best in the ring. His shots and days were eye-catching, and Gennady was holding on to his balance as well as energy so as to make it through the match without falling to the canvas. According to the judges, the last three rounds had Canelo in his best element, throwing in power punches that injured Gennady pretty badly. Canelo going to work. I need him sharp. I need him powerful. Combination. Number 5. Canelo Alvarez vs. Miguel Cotto In this match, Canelo's punches were quite evident throughout the match. His punches were faster and harder when compared to Miguel Cotto's punches. The first three rounds had Canelo throwing in steamier and highly accurate punches. Cotto was very determined to throw in a thunderous left hook to Canelo's body but Canelo did not let that happen. As soon as Cotto was in close proximity to Canelo, Canelo turned his right side into Miguel's body so as to escape the power shots that Cotto was trying to throw. While doing so, Canelo made sure not to waste any opportunity he got to throw in a hook, uppercut, jab, or straight right. The most noteworthy round out of the 12 rounds fought was round 8. In this round, Canelo and Cotto exchanged multiple shots with Canelo outperforming his opponent. Cotto was able to tolerate Canelo's tough blow until he was about to give up, but the bell rang and saved him. Canelo's hand speed in this match was immaculate. Though they were quite fast during the initial few rounds, they tended to slow down with each passing round, probably due to fatigue setting in. But that did not stop him from utterly destroying his opponent in the ring. Number 4. Canelo Alvarez vs. James Kirkland The match between Canelo Alvarez and James Kirkland was scheduled for a good 12 rounds but ended in the third round when Canelo won the match via knockout. The knockout punch that Canelo threw was one of the cleanest punches that he had ever thrown. The first two rounds were poodle for Kirkland. 
It was quite a shocker that he even managed to make it to the third round in one piece. The combination punches as well as a flurry of punches that Canelo kept throwing at Kirkland constantly injured him. Canelo's tactic of starting the action early and often is what helped him secure an early victory. The first time Canelo knocked Kirkland down was in round one, where only one and a half minutes were left before the round would end. The thunderous right hand that Canelo threw to cause this knockout did not only send Kirkland to the canvas, but also left him with a bleeding nose. In round three, Canelo kept hurling clever combination punches at Kirkland, and Canelo finally got Kirkland against the ropes. Canelo threw in a left jab to Kirkland's body, followed by a straight right hand. This damaged Kirkland's chin, and he fell to the canvas in a spinning motion. Even though he managed to get back up, Canelo did not hesitate to throw in a barrage of punches at Kirkland that caused him to collapse to the canvas on his back. Out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. That right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect strike. Number 3. Canelo Alvarez vs. Sergei Kovalev While Kovalev started the match with a jab, Canelo made sure to throw in plenty of power shots in round 1. Nothing interesting happened in the next two rounds except the two boxers warming up. Canelo started gearing up in round four and threw in a powerful left hook in this round. His left hook followed by a right hand combo that he threw in round five was quite notable. Canelo picked up on space and was the dominant of the two boxers in the ring in both round six and seven. In round eight, his hands were landing fast and accurate punches on Kovalev, making this the best round for Canelo. In round 11, Canelo punished Kovalev with a left hand. Kovalev was out and Canelo won via knockout. Kovalev's not even committing to the Jarenis. Kovalev's hurt. Kovalev's down. Kovalev's out. It's Number 2. Canelo Alvarez vs. Amir Khan Amir Khan was destroyed halfway through this match by Canelo Alvarez. During the first round of this match, Amir was full of power. Canelo threw a right hand at Amir's ribs, who responded back with a flurry of jabs. The next two rounds had Khan throwing in fast shots that Canelo found hard to keep up with. Though he wasn't able to return back with the same intensity, his defense seemed to be working extremely well. In round four, Canelo threw a huge left hand to Khan's ribs that hurt him and forced him to retreat backward. There were a lot of punches that were thrown by these boxers that didn't connect in this match. This seemed to intimidate the boxers, turning them aggressive in the process. The sixth round was the final round that these boxers fought. Khan threw a left hook at Canelo's ear. Canelo countered right to Amir's hip. Canelo then threw a left hook in this round that left Khan in a dazed state. Canelo then went on to damage Khan further by throwing in a series of body shots. Khan was fatigued and was losing out on power. Canelo then went on to feint a jab that covered a right hook. Khan defended himself with this, but this sent him off balance. Khan was then dropped unconscious to the canvas after Canelo feinted a jab and followed that up with an overhand right. Medical staff had to storm into the ring to check on Amir. Tricky style. Number 1. Canelo Alvarez vs. Carlos Baldemir Canelo was dominant from the start of this match. The match was action-packed throughout, with the initial few rounds including a quick warm-up by both the boxers. Round 6 was the last round that these two boxers fought. Canelo ended the round with a thunderous left hook that landed on Carlos' chin. Then sent shockwaves straight through his head, dropping him to the canvas with his face facing the floor. Carlos managed to get back up but failed to do so and was left face planted on the canvas while Canelo left the ring with a victory. Oh boy, Baldemir might be ready to go! He might, and he's gone! Canelo Hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the home of boxing. See you very soon.